Good morning, you guys. I wanted to do a get ready with me using all of my current favorite beauty products. You saw a lot of empties in my empties video that were from 2022. I was hanging on to those for a while. So I wanted to show you how I use them and just chat. We're gonna have a girly get ready with me chat and catch up. Right now I'm going in with the Refi Primer. Listen, this is not for the faint of heart. This is going to make your skin so glowy. So if you do not like a super glowy, hydrated, oily looking base, I don't think that you'll like this, but my skin is as dry as a Sahara Desert. Yep, y'all know that. <laughs> I want to let that sit for a little bit just to, you know, soak in, soak in the juice. And then I'm going to go in with my Milk Hydro Grip Primer. You guys know I tend to sit in my filth, you know? If I'm getting ready for the day and I'm doing my full makeup routine, I'm not taking that off. If I go to the gym in the middle of the day, I'm not going to come home and redo that, you know? I'm just going to sit in my filth. I love how sticky this base is. Between the Refi making me juicy, super hydrated, and then this, it's so sticky and my makeup just stacks. It doesn't go anywhere. You know what I mean? Big fan. All right, listen. Let's address the elephant in the room. I miss the absolute heck of all out of you guys. All right? Sure. Yeah, I said I was gonna come back and be consistent. And then I get all up in my head because I'm like, well, what do you guys wanna see from me? Okay, I cannot do. <laughs> I cannot do this accent this whole video. I'm currently struggling with a pretty serious disease and that disease is these accents they just take over me and they control me and I, it comes with a whole different personality as well. So it's a tough disease. It is because you just really get stuck there. See it keeps <sighs> it keeps coming back. See how sticky this is? Oh wait. Oh yeah. My makeup's just gonna stick. I'm gonna let that absorb for a second. You know how many of these KVD Good Apple Skin Perfecting Foundation Moms I've gone through. I'm almost at the end of this one as well. This is in the shade Medium 30, and I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's it's dark. It does match my self tan really really well, and I am lathered in self tan 90% of the time. Unfortunately, today's a 10 percenter. See, even this looks dark. At the Sephora sale, I picked up Light 21. It was a big jump down, but I'm nervous that this still looks very not my shade. We'll try it out. We'll see. This is absolutely full coverage, but the product doesn't sit on top of my skin. In. It just melts in with the warmth and by the end of the day with time for me It gets better and better and better. It looks more natural throughout the day It stays all day when you use a really good sticky base and your skin's really hydrated and I Love it. So here's the thing is yeah, let's address the elephant in the room. Okay. I was trying to avoid it I said I was coming back and then I just get I get really in my head with YouTube because actually Wait, that looks much better light 21 is a good shade for my non-self tan days. Okay, several plaques of psoriasis that I'm dealing with on my face right now, like right here. And this product just covers it up and really gives me the confidence I'm looking for in my skin. I'm a big fan. Every time I meet somebody in person, it's the highlight of my whole day. You guys have been with me through it all. You've been with me since I was working a full-time job and we were meal prepping our meals every single day to pack them for lunch. You've been with me when I was dating boys and getting ghosted. Remember that loser? <laughs> you've been with me when I started my relationship with Stefan, getting engaged, getting married. You've been with me during my lowest points or my highest points. So when I meet somebody that follows me on YouTube, I know instantly. I know instantly if they follow me on YouTube or if they're just kind of following along on Instagram because you and I, we have built such a connection. Like YouTube is my safe place. It is my home. It is where I feel the most connected to you. And I I want to be here the most, but I don't know what content to create. You guys, I've been spending so much time creating content on TikTok. TikTok Whitney feels like OG YouTube Whitney. Whitney now, who's new and improved, you know? She had her mental illnesses. She worked really hard through them and she's come out the other side. I post every single day, twice a day on TikTok and I love it over there. You guys are so kind and supportive and you allow me to just be my like true authentic self and create content that for the first 
first time in years, I'm not worrying about what people are commenting about me. Does that make sense? That's the vibe on Instagram. The vibes on Instagram, everyone's so critical. I'm not talking about you guys. I'm just talking about like, you know, the girls that are watching your stuff that message you, but don't follow you. And they're so critical. And you're like, girl, don't you have better things to be doing? That's Instagram. TikTok and YouTube, they're over here for me. Nothing but good vibes. I'm sorry that I've been absent on here. I'm feeling very fulfilled on TikTok. And I don't know what the heck, Mob, you guys want to see from me over here. Long form content. Like I've been brainwashed. I've been brainwashed to create this short form content. And then I come over here and I'm like, what do I do for a whole YouTube video? Okay, I'm a big fan of this shade. Let me bring it down my neck. I blend it down. Can't be caught in the act. And I can still see it all in my mind. I'm fine. All right. With a different brush. Hey, Macarena, Macarena, Macarena. I'm not upset. I just feel like you guys neglected to tell me how amazing this concealer is. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct Concealer. I don't mean to be dramatic, but something about this. I'm still dealing with really bad psoriasis right around my lips. So I like to conceal there around my nostrils. It's a good medium to full concealer, but what's magical about it is I get a lot of wrinkles and crinkles. I feel like that's the name of the game with concealer, the wrinkle and crinkles under your eyeballs. So that's never shocked me, but then to not have it, I was like, Wait a minute. Throughout the whole day, my under eyes look so hydrated and smooth. <gasps> Big fan. I picked up the LYS bronzing stick in the Sephora style. You guys, it makes me look so bronze. There's a lot, I mean, there's a lot of pigment in this, okay? Be careful. But then it also just blends like butter. Butter. And then it's so long lasting. It stays all day. I've been so happy. This is the shade Harmony. Big fan. Okay, I just got back from LA. I was given the opportunity by Rare Beauty to speak at their mental health summit. You guys know how deeply I love Rare Beauty. I love the people behind the brand. It's like, maybe I should do my makeup. I love the people behind the brand, but I also just love everything that the brand stands for. Mental health is so important to the brand. They do so many things to support mental health and mental health awareness with their Rare Impact Fund. When I got the invite to speak on this panel, A, I was like, Whitney Simmons? I don't know, I was having such bad imposter syndrome until the second I stepped on stage and I was like, you could do this, you could do this. This was my first time speaking about my mental health journey since being out of it. Does that make sense? Like every time I've spoken about my journey with my mental illnesses, I've been like deep, deep, deep in it, okay? I've been in it. So to be able to speak on this panel, coming out on the other side, feeling very in control of my mental health. For so long, it felt like my label, like I'm Winnie Simmons and I label myself by my mental illnesses because that's the season of life that I was in. To be able to speak on a panel about mental health, these are the tools and the resources that I had. These are the things that I did and I made it you guys. And now I'm this like, I feel like I'm OG with you again, but new and improved. I talked about this on the panel. You're told your whole life to be authentically you, but I lost that authenticity for so long because I was being so heavily criticized in everything I did. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, I hate your voice. Okay. I can't change my voice. You're not fit enough. You don't have enough muscle. Now you got too much muscle. Oh, you're too skinny. Oh, you're not skinny enough. Or just little comments like, I hate when she does her accents. So through the years, I would think about every single time somebody left a comment about me and I would think to myself, okay, I can't do that. I can't do that because this person hates that. I can't ever do an accent again because this person hates that. Somebody told me it was so cringy. And so for so long, I was creating content to appease my haters <laughs> instead of the content that I truly deeply wanted to create. Now that I've let that go, I finally, for the first time in my life, understand what being so authentically you is. Like, girl, be cringy. If you think I'm cringy, that's okay. I love that I can just be my silly, goofy self again without caring what my haters have to say because at the end of the day, and I truly, truly mean this, the love and support that you will get from people in your life that love you for who you are, that is what is most important. 
Steph and I are the goofiest people. We sing to our dogs every day. We talk in accents to each other every day. I don't know if this is gonna sound weird to you guys, but he's really brought out and healed my inner child that I feel like I lost for so long because I was trying to appease other people. But at the end of the day, they don't support me anyways. I've gone through so many changes this last year, changes with friends, changes with my relationship. Like I entered marriage. I got a new label. Okay, I'm a wife. I'm so happy and please, let me tell you, it is the women that have stood beside me and encouraged me to be authentically who I am that I'm here today. So I just have to say thank you. I have to say thank you to you because it's you, girl. You've been with me through it all. And even if you're new, I'm just happy you're here. Thank you for being here on my little place of happiness on the internet. This little place was a dark place for a while. It was dark, but we made it out. Okay, did you see how effortlessly that bronzer was bronzer? Now let me tell you about this blush. This is everything to me. First of all, I am a blushaholic. You guys know this. You're gonna see I put way too much blush on for like an everyday girly, but I'm not an everyday girly, I'm a blushaholic. So this is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blush in Bellini. It is a cream blush. It is so pigmented. It is so bright. It blends effortlessly. So I dipped my brush in there two times. You guys know I love like super bright, punchy, peachy blushes. And this is so pigmented, but it's so easy to use because you go in with your brush and then pop it on and it just blends seamlessly. Okay, I'm gonna take it over my nosy as well. Is she peached? Is she sunburned? What's going on? Why does her face look like that? It's the blush. I like my blush to come up really high. Instead of my face going more round when I used to apply my blush here, when I lift it up, I feel like it gives like a like a lifted effect. So that's where I've been applying my blush lately. And then you'll see it blends seamlessly on top of my outer eyelid right here as well. It creates just a really cohesive look that I've been very, very happy with. Maybe I'm making this up, but I feel like it just helps lift my face. See, I'm torn on telling you if this is a good blush for beginners because I think the application is seamless and is really good for beginners, but I think the pigment could be very intimidating to beginners. But here's the thing is, yeah, you could just have this, but if you want your blush to stay all day long, gone are the days of blush goes the first. Long are those days because with this cream blush and a powder on top, this blush, I don't know. There is something in this that's pure magic. This is the House Labs Color Flush Blush in Pomelo Peach. This with the Danessa Myricks Bellini. Ooh, what a power duo. And it sets my blush all day long. Remember when I used to tell you guys like, blush is the first to go, so go heavy with it because it's gonna leave. This will not leave you. This will not leave you. You guys, I'm obsessed with these House Labs blushes. Um, I picked up the bright, bright, bright pink as well. This little duo, that's my current obsession. Okay, I ordered this bronze without caution. Glamorous glow. <laughs> okay, whatever. It's the Pat McGrath bronzer. But then I have this, excuse, it's filthy. I have this ColourPop bronzer in the shade Summerland Beach. Dupes, dupes. These are the exact same, okay? This is very expensive. This is not. I'm gonna go in with this bronzer. It's a matte bronzer. I struggle a lot with matte products because I feel like they don't blend very seamlessly on me. But this bronzer, it's like butter and it stays all day. So I just push it into the skin. Maybe that's what's changed is I'm pushing into the skin rather than like, you know? So it's not lifting any of the product. I love to look bronzed. Like I just got back from vacation. And then right on top of that cream bronzer, I'll just press it into the skin lightly. I don't need much here because as you can see, my cheeks are very blushed. <laughs> Maybe a little much in. If you want to, okay, if you want to get wild, you can take that bronzer and pop it through your crease. I have completely stopped doing eyeshadow for my everyday look, which is very wild, okay? That's very unlike me, but I will take bronzer up and out and blend it into the blush for a seamless look. You just a little baby, baby, baby bit of that bronzer. This A++++. Okay, let's set the under eyes. I'm still head over heels in love with my Givenchy. Givenchy. Prism Libre Proud. Prism. Prism Libre Proud. Prism Libre Powder in shade 3. I feel like I've had this product for, I don't know, two years. And I still have so much product left. I know it's expensive, but this powder is so good. It has a baby, baby, baby pink tint to it, which I know helps combat the dark under eyes. So I take a little bit of my brush and I tap as much off as I can. I'll take my ring finger and press out the concealer. Make sure the concealer is set. There's no wrinkles or crinkles. And I'll press this into the skin. 
no swapping. But can you see how much brighter this eye is compared to this one? I really want to focus it under my under eyes. I don't take it too low because I'll go on with a different powder. You know, it doesn't matter how dry I am. I will always set my under eyes. Now I'm going to take that same brush. And I know that you guys saw so many empties of this in my empties video. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder in the first shade. We're already nearing another empty. Terrifying. And I will press this into my skin anywhere else that just looks maybe a little too shiny. You know, around my nose, on my makeup mustache, on my chin, and then in between my eyebrows. And a little on the center of my forehead. That's nice. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe setting spray. Until this draws. These are the things that I do to make my makeup last all day. This is the routine. It's time for brows. You guys know my tried and true combo. The Refi Brow Gel with the Glossier Brow Flick. Because there are a lot of Refi Brow Gel haters, there's a lot of slander. I want to show you how I use it to never get any dandruff or like white flecks. So step one, if you have a new bottle, I always recommend taking a bit of the product off because I think when you have a lot of product going through your brows, that's when it's going to start to do, you know, the dandruff looking thing. Scrape off the brush and run the brow gel through your brows. I like really fluffy brows, so as I'm brushing it through, I'm pulling my brows up the underneath of the brows, and then I'm going to brush them into place. Now I will not brush this brow again. So now that that is set, I'm gonna let it dry, and I will not touch it again. Okay, no spoolies. This is my good brow, I love this girl. She does me good, she never betrays me. Knock on wood. If you like a super laminated look, the same applicator has this brush that you can use to really like press it into your skin. I don't necessarily love a laminated look, but I do think this helps get off any extra product. And if you do it gentle enough, it won't like slick to your skin. I know it's hard to see on camera, but this hair still look like hairs instead of being slicked to your skin where it almost looks like, I don't know, microbladed. Give this Glossier a good shake, good shake. This is super fine. So I like to draw hair-like strokes with it. So I'll start here. I really like dark brows, especially since my root are so dark now. I feel like the dark brows with the dark roots, it's just, mm, it's powerful. And I almost draw a line, add a little girth to the end of my brow here. And then the last thing I'll do is just curve the hair a little bit more narrow at the end, very gently. Now don't stress about brows, you guys. First of all, this is not a safe place for fluffy brow haters. And if you're a fluffy brow hater, just exit the chat. If you're a fluffy brow admirer, you don't want to do a fluffy brow on you, but you can appreciate a fluffy brow, you're welcome here. Brows should never look like twins. Honestly, if they look like twins, I'm gonna admire that that's sick. Especially because this brow, like, see how much further in this brow starts in this one? Like, they're always so uneven. Could I probably get this fixed by going to a specialist? Probably, but the last time I went and got my brows done, you guys absolutely rid me to filth, okay? You slaughtered me. So I haven't gone back to a girl ever again. Okay, but see how, like, this is bushy over here. This is like, hey, that, that's a little too much fluff even for me, so I'll just take my spoolie, bring those hairs down without taking out any of that brow gel. The brows look crazy today. They're a little too fluffy. They need a haircut. It's always when I want my brows to look really good on camera that they go crazy. <laughs> and then I watch the footage back and I'm like, girl, BFFR, what the heck were you doing? Just a little trim trim. Listen, I know that they're looking crazy today. Ignore the situation. <laughs> All right, let's talk about brown mascara because Holy son of a gun, has it changed the game for me. This is the Makeup Mario eyeliner in the shade Perfect Brown. It really is the perfect brown. So I take a little bit on my waterline. I'm going to heat up my eyelash curler. Honestly, I don't recommend this, you know, cause I mean, don't do this, but I really like to warm it up a little bit. You know, it really curls my lashes better. I swear, curl my eyelashes. And then I'm gonna go in with brown mascara. I love my Rare Beauty mascara. You guys know how much I love that mascara. But making the switch to brown mascara, it looks so mm, scrumdiddlyumptious. It looks a little more delicate on the face. It's not so like, ah. Here, it's harsh black mascara. So I really, really love brown mascara, but none of my favorite formulas come in brown mascara right now. I'm gonna go with my L'Oreal Lash Paradise Primer. And this is my current brown mascara obsession. It is the YSL Lash Clash. It's so freaking good. I don't know why I still use a lash primer. It's like ingrained in me. One layer of my lash primer, and then I'll go in with the Lash Clash. This is like such a 
deep brown. It's a drier formula, which I love because with the drier formulas, I find you can really build it up and you guys know, I'm not just a blushaholic, I'm a lashaholic. I love my lashes to be as thick and voluminous and long as possible. That's one coat because it's a drier formula. It builds really, really well. Another trick that I've learned to help with the like lifted eye look is to pull my lashes out as I'm applying my mascara. So instead, like normally I used to go for like a really rounded look with my mascara. Now as I'm applying, I pull it out. So you can see they're like, huh? We are having a 911 situation. I can't find my Makeup Forever Anywhere Caffeine lip liner, which is so bizarre because I have like three of them and I carry them around everywhere I go. It's like my go-to lip liner. You do Anywhere Caffeine with some lip gloss. Where's my lip gloss? Where's my lip gloss? It's in my pocket. I carry these around like they're going out of style too. This is a Ula Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. Mm -mm -mm. It's good. I'm really so I did like a lip liner in that gloss. I'll go in with my second favorite lip liner. <laughs> this is the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner in Smoky Pink. I really enjoy overlining my lips, especially on my bottom lip. My, my top lip, I'm a little too nervous about. I think in person it's very obvious, but my bottom lip, I don't think it's that obvious. So see how I went below my lip line? And then on the sides, I bring it back up to my actual lip line. Like a little bit of a sharper cupid's bow because I naturally have one. That's all I'm gonna do. The Rare Beauty Lip Oils, Skrum Duryamshus. Obviously Joy is my favorite color because it's my favorite blush shade. I also love Happy. This is the shade Honesty. It's really close to my natural color. The thing I love about these is the stain it leaves behind. So when I apply this once in the morning and it dries down, I can just go in with gloss the rest of the day and my lips still look very pigmented. I'm just a really big fan. And I just take it in the middle here. See, you can barely see it going on. It's so close to my natural shade, it's crazy. That's that, you guys. Now it's time to set it and forget it. We gotta set it and forget it. Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. This stuff is like glue, but it's glue that doesn't make you feel dehydrated. You know what I mean? I still feel, feel very glowy throughout the day. And now I go back in with my Charlotte Tilbury powder, just a little pinch in those same spots as before. That little combo, it's pure magic. So just on the sides of my nose, Makeup mustache. So now when I go to the gym, today's Wednesday, so it's my meeting day. And then I'm gonna try to hit the gym. So I'm gonna go to my meetings right now. I'll go to the gym. I'll come home. I'll sit in my filth, my skin. Even after like a super sweaty leg day, it's gonna stay. It's so good. That's the finished look. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for being here with me through my highest highs and my lowest lows. I love you and I think you are amazing and you deserve nothing but the very best in this world. You know the deal. Until next time, I will see you next time. Hey, it's a beautiful day to be alive. Hey, I love you.